Okay, so Sarah from the future, um, it is Tuesday. I'm getting back on track with these vlogs. I'm editing our Friday and Saturday night, which are both Chris Kindle Market days. Um, it's really nice and cozy. We decorated the tree tonight, get all situated to edit, and realize that the microphone was not plugged in at all Friday night. So you'll see at the beginning of the vlog is us introing like normal but then while we're out and about it's just going to be a full montage so if it's a little confusing because we typically talk a lot um that is why so that is why i just had a little had to pop in and say that um but i didn't want to just scrap that footage so i hope i haven't edited it yet i hope it i hope it turns out nicely and you enjoy the vlog good morning we're so glad you're here Say it with me, boys. We daily vlogs. So if you enjoy this video, come on. Don't you want to come back and watch these cute kids every day? I'm not sure if Sarah explained when her, like, yesterday morning sign-off for the night before that um, we still have been vlogging every day, but we're trying to catch up in posting the vlogs. So today is one of, like, the more major catch-up days. I busted out the record player from my dining room because I'm going to hang out with the boys out in the living room and kind of tidy up just because we had some like laundry that we just kind of threw on the couch trying to get ready out the door for Thanksgiving. So I'm, basically what I'm trying to say is we're gonna jam to the Leslie Odom Jr. deluxe vinyl set we got while I hang out and play and clean up. Booyah, great post Thanksgiving day. Almost done with the first vlog. Um, it's about noon. Teddy actually fell asleep on me and James is due for a nap soon, but we're gonna do the traditional thing the day after Thanksgiving and it's gonna heat up all the leftovers that we took from the Sicards home with us in one big pan and have a little smorgasbord leftover extravaganza. We got some, a lot of stuffing, some of the Brussels sprouts, this delicious juicy turkey some green beans. Just kind of getting it all heated up in one pan. What's nice about this is since we didn't host Thanksgiving, we've had a little bit of a Thanksgiving fragrance getting added to the air of our home. Teddy is his name and German markets is his game. We're gonna go get some pretzels for the crew while we have this quad spot while James is while James is enjoying soup and curry sausage. I accidentally got to the front of the pretzel booth fairly quickly. So good, we're gonna do a cheesecake and a cheddar cheese. Let's go. Nothing beats Christmas in Macy's. Am I right? 
That'll get you in the spirit. It's the walnut room. Selfie station, but they have the tree up. The restaurant's closed. But there's the famous walnut room tree. Looks like they have themed by Toy Shop this year. Gorgeous. Good early morning. We're so glad you were here. Oh, this we daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, oh, this it's a boat. This is my now my new favorite thing about mornings. It's for James to wake up with the vigor of life as only a two-year-old can, and invite me to play with his toys with him. I may be half asleep, but. It's like the whole world world is James's oyster. And half the time he invites me to come along with. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, James? Broadway has its holiday feels out. With all of its light posts with garlands. Some trees are still holding on to fall. I love it. All right, so we are taking a brisk morning walk together. We're having an, another loungy, relaxing day. We are gonna go to Chris Kindle Market, Wrigleyville, we think, later. Yeah. Um, yeah, we definitely need to recoup after like two busier days, like. After a busy week. After just getting back from vacation, so today's kind of that day. I know, it's really nice. It's cold, it, I, when I woke up, I woke up a little bit before everybody else. I made a cup of coffee, went out to the living room, and I like, cracked the window because our steam heat drives the air out so much. So I cracked the window next to the couch, and it was the first like arctic wintry air, like the ones that bite you, that it came in. It, it was like bittersweet, like, yeah. and I, I do like the it. The temperature has something to do with it, and the sunshine has something to do with it too. So, so we have our two little squibs packed up, <laughs> ready for just a neighborhoodly walk. Might pick up a, a case of ginger ale. I don't What's he doing? Hi! You just hanging out with Dad? Yeah. You and your brother switched. Jamesy is napping now, and Teddy just woke up. Hi. What now, Daddy? You just gonna relax? I'm gonna sit for a minute. James put me off. Put up a battle. Yeah. Going down. So but I'm he's down. A... Well. I had some chips. Yeah. And we're gonna like a, a glass of Gluenheim. Restart when he wakes up. Just gonna mark it Wrigley. Are we going to Wrigley Field? So we're headed into the Chris Kindle Market at Wrigley Field, and it's a lot different this year than it was last year. So I'm nervous. There's ticket booths open. Oh, 
starting with some reflet sandwiches. Okay, the kids and I are waiting for the Milwaukee Pretzel Company. We're gonna do garlic parsley, I think an original, and then root beer mustard and nacho cheese. Thank you. We're all reunited, Sarah got pretzels. Did I just wait 20 minutes for these sandwiches? Is it worth it? When we can probably come here during like your lunch breaks during the weekend. Oh, we 100% right will, but was it worth it? Absolutely. The cheese is dripping. Ah! Cheers. Cheers. We got, um, huh. I got salami. Peter got ham. And this is garlic parsley. It smells so good. And then I got cheese and root beer mustard. Hell. And then, did you do a whole lap? Inside, I got, so then we'll do a whole lap. Or do we go inside? And then do a whole lap afterwards, because I can see that after. Inside is $5. That's new. The secret killer of the sandwiches are the little pickles and the Dijon mustard they put on. <laughs> Hello. Little dunk a dunk. This is crazy. We're in Wrigley. It's so crazy. So cool. I'm so happy that they did this. Quite different than the last time we walked up these stairs. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's where we go for our, our seats. But we're going this way. So this is how you get to the bleachers. So we're not on the actual like grass. They have this cool plastic down. Yeah. So there's this lodge, looks like it's inside with s'mores kits, chimney paws, snow pitch, tree topper. You like the basketball? High seats. Did you guys know they aren't our seats anymore? Yeah. We did not renew for next year just because of us hoping to live in both places. Yeah. But we'll go to a lot of Cubs games next year. What a special season that was, though. Wow, the big bear. And here is the field, wow. Is this Teddy's first time on the field? I think he was just in my belly. He was just in your belly last time we were on the field. Yeah. And this train goes around what looks like the whole infield. The, the, all the kids in the front, they were like... <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> we might have a thrill junkie in our hands. It went, oh. <laughs> it oh, someday. These are cool. It's called Chalet Row. And you can book the whole thing. That's awesome. It's like what we needed for Peter's birthday last year. And I think that you could you could do this if you're not watching on your phone. You could also find more information if you're interested. Inside a baseball. There's light up necklaces and other winter cubby shirts. So cute. Socks and hats. Blankets. Cute. It's got the Chicago Star, like the Wrigleyville logo on it. And Holly. Sarah and Jim's checking out the walnut cracker. He's a little uncertain about that. <laughs> Are we all done? Do you want to do this last path and we'll go out that exit over there? We're on our way home. And I'm gonna show you this. this neighborhood Walgreens just has like 
they usually have this a tree, big tree but like yeah that's a big tree for just a random walgreens's parking lot i wonder if it's real it looks real but they are not watering that thing well aren't you just the coziest little pup <laughs> we're exhausted we need another day of the week my mom would always say that she wished you had a day to like get stuff done to rest and to do something fun we need three days we've had three we've had a long weekend but it just still feels like like we're not even putting we're not even cleaning up the toys tonight no we're just going to bed we have a very early start because we're going to get a christmas tree tomorrow but it's like all consumed like it takes consumes like the whole day so it's it, gonna be a fun yeah. day but it's just gonna be another like full day yeah when we need a day of rest and to Nothing. get our a home back to pre vacation. Like these last two days were, but like, still just feel maybe that's just life with a toddler and a baby. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.